those negative thoughts, you could stay in a negative for weeks, right? <laughs> what, it, dude, that's, it's feeding the wolves, right? Years. You could stay that way for years, yeah. going on and off medication and not knowing what it is and not knowing how to cope. Right. But as soon as you start developing that relaxation response, so for those of you that are watching that are new, go to YouTube and type, type in relaxation tape. You'll find some um, guided meditation. If you can find Lucinda Bassett's, that's the one we use. If not, try to use something that uh, has some vis- visualization, has some breathing um, techniques, and potentially some muscle, muscle tension and re- um, techniques as well mm-hmm. but if not then just go for uh the the breathing the breathing is the most important i think that that's like the relaxation breathing that's the stuff that's really helped me out and it got me centered and i think that's the stuff that's helped me out the most good with this whole program well when you start to condition yourself with the breathing um and start focusing just on your breath like that can take away really anything and bring you back into reality yeah. And calm your heart rate down. It can calm down. Like, just by breathing and and focusing on your breath, you can literally calm your body. Right. And those feelings are all sort of physical. Oh, yeah. They start up here, but they become physical. Yeah, for sure. I think, like, again, like, I think I said this the first week, that, like, depression is a physical disease. Yeah. It's, like, dopamine deficiency, and that's physical, right? Mm. And so, like... If we can figure and out sore, a way your to... muscles get sore quicker. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah, like you get aches and pains, especially yeah. where you carry the tension in your yeah, neck and your your shoulders. Neck, yeah, and like, that can all change by da- by daily positive affirmations. Right, right? Like, right. be a fucking lion. Yeah, like, don't quit. You yeah. can do this. Right? Yeah. Well, like you say, when you talk about feeding your brain, it's just the same as feeding your body. Right. You talk about the body, the body, the mind, and the spirit. They all need to be fed. Yeah. Right. So by putting. When you say you are what you eat, if you're eating uh, potato chips, it's like, okay, well, you're a couch potato, right? right. So if you eat healthy, your body's going to respond in a better way. Mm-hmm. If you give yourself healthy, healthy thoughts, your mind's going to respond in a healthier way. If you um, are healthy spiritually, if you meditate, if you do breathing exercises, right. that's spiritual as well. Yep. If you do all of these things, you're feeding everything with positivity and you're going to respond in a, in a much healthier yeah. way. Oh, yeah. And live a much healthier sure. life. So... That's what this is for. It's it's yeah. not um, it's not rocket science. It's just we never learned these tools. Yeah. No one ever taught us can this you, shit. Can you imagine how different life would be if we did get taught these tools, say, 15, 15 years ago? Yeah, 15 weeks, dude. You yeah. can do this in three three months. A lot of it's going to be repetitive, too, yeah. just because it's, it's building the reinforcement. Yeah. So anyway, um, if you guys are... Um, we just need to be comfortable... Talking to ourselves and, and being talking to ourselves to make ourselves feel comfortable. Right. So if you guys are looking for thoughts um, to replace the negative thoughts, one of the recommendations in the program that we do is Lucinda Bassett, who runs the program, says, "Well, what would Lucinda say?" So think to yourself, "What would Polly say? What would Sean say? What would Scott say if you were beating yourself up?" And try to picture our voice. And what we would say to you to kind of make you feel better. Mm-hmm. And then write that down and start, start saying that saying to yourself. It to yourself yeah. yeah. So, anyways, I'm, I'm out of notes. I'm out of notes too. Yeah. Is there anything you want to add for tonight? I think that, I think just we have to take it easy on ourselves when it comes to this stuff. Like we, we've obviously worked through a lot of things in our lives to get to a point it's not that we started today and said oh I'm not going to be a negative thinker no Do you know is, we've worked yeah, on years and, and years right I think the thing that I that I would love to get and always like I I think I've said this every single time every yeah. week you got to have some faith and you got to have some patience and like I understand that those are those are tough tools to acquire yeah. yeah but I think that they're very very important in the success of changing from a negative to a positive thought is to have a little bit of faith in yourself and like yeah. to just go easy with yourself and have some patience with your with right. yourself and um, it's hard at first it is yeah. I'm not, yeah I'm not gonna lie when it's you're hard. not when you're not used to giving yourself um, positive affirmations and compliments yeah. and empowering thoughts it's gonna take some time yeah. you know those um, neural pathways run deep oh yeah they do. so you know but the thing is is that it becomes again you're breaking a bad habit get get attached to the addictive behavior of giving yourself good things and, yeah. and treating yourself well and giving yourself positive thoughts to latch on to. It's like that Justin Bieber song. You gotta just <laughs> love yourself, right? Last week was Beyonce. Yeah, you should this go and love Bieber. You should what go and love yourself, what right? What's wrong with my music? Too? <laughs> it's just like the rest of the world. That's it's nothing. Yeah, it's right? nothing. I don't listen to Justin Bieber, but I, that's a great song. Yeah, you gotta love yourself, yeah. right? And that's yeah. what it really comes down to. I feel like 
when it comes to the self harm stuff that like I've learned to love myself more than I hate myself, mm -hmm. and that makes me not go and self harm automatically, right? Mm -hmm. And so I, that's a little victory for me that I love myself more than I hate myself, and that balance has always been the other way, and right. that's something I you know just talking in right now that's something cool that I'm going to take with me I have like just started this thing just this week about writing three like not even gratitude not a gratitude list just right. three things that made me really happy today yeah and good like, yeah I look at those at the end of the day and yeah. I think like even if I've had a terrible day I got out of bed yeah you know what I mean yeah. that's my that's like my thing when I'm depressed I don't get out of bed for, my, I don't either right yeah, yeah so if I can get out of bed I'm writing that shit down that, yeah. that is something that I'm proud of today or if I brush my teeth yeah or if I looked in the mirror I have a really tough time looking at myself in the mirror when I'm depressed which I just don't like who I am right, right and that's right. all that is and yeah I've broken so many mirrors punching them really just snapping them because I don't like who I am and I haven't broken a mirror yeah. like you know it's yeah. so so long because I'm starting to love myself and this is years right yeah. and, and I think I'm 30 I still got like 60 years left right so yeah I got a long process yeah. and like I'm willing to work on it and that's sure. where it came to an agreement with myself that I'm yeah. willing to work on this I'm yeah. willing to love myself or try to love myself and I mean, so far it's working out awesome so on that note everybody out there should love themselves yeah. or at least try to start getting uh, start getting into the habit and um you know, if you don't know what to say from a, like, just to replace the thought with something more empowering, I guess reach out to Polly or reach out to yeah. me. We can try to help you with this if it's something that you really want to do. Scotty, for sure. Or for Scotty, sure. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, I will we'll end it there for this evening. And, that was a good uh, one tonight. I like yeah, that. Yeah, it was... Good it start, you start to feel good when you start talking about these yeah. things and really focusing yeah. on the positive. It's a little nerve-wracking the first couple of weeks because you're talking about what anxiety is, what depression is, what stress is, and you have to start to focus on those gross feelings. But then as soon as you start to focus on how to change them, yeah. it becomes a whole new exciting ballgame. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to give you the uh, Facebook iPad. So if anybody wants to talk to Polly, I'll be there in a minute. I'm just going to turn off the other recording devices. And we'll turn around to uh, Facebook to Polly.